that's wishful thinking. I mean, it's wishful to imagine that you know, Penguin Random House is going to recreate um, e-commerce. Amazon invented e-commerce, and they did it very successfully. The problem isn't that they've done it successfully in, and own the market. The problem is that they use their size to treat the, the, peop, the, the whole economy very badly. Um, and there, there's some good examples of this. I mean, they, they have an ideological, they, they don't just want to uh, uh, beat the publishers. They want to uh, do business with the publishers and get the most favorable rates from them. They want to destroy them. They call them antediluvian losers with rotary telephones. They conceived a project called. But they kind of are. There was, there, there was a project called the Gazelle Project. <laughs> you know, they're antediluvian losers, and, and and you know what? God bless them. The reason that they their commitment to to things other than profit. Yes, they are obsessed with profit, but they're also, they also publish poetry, and they publish histories, and they publish other things that don't make conventional sense on a balance sheet, because they view their mission as to make money, but also to create and to sustain a book culture. Amazon referred to, they, they tried to kill the small publishers in something called the Gazelle Project, where they wanted to negotiate with them in a way where they said that the, the small publishers were sickly gazelle, and they would pounce on them like a cheetah. Um, it, All right, it, let's, it, let's let uh, the, the defender of the gazelle killer respond. I, yeah. <laughs> Joe Conrad. A gazelle to everybody who votes for yeah. Okay. Uh, T talking about the your, your last question, monopolies versus the oligopoly, and why why do I against the uh, the oligopoly? Uh, the oligopoly uh, wants less choice and higher prices. The monopoly wants more choices and really low prices. And what is the topic of this debate? It's Amazon, the friend to readers. Well, what do you want? Higher prices, less choices, lower prices, more choices. It's Scott pretty Trump. simple. Well, Joe, Joe, first of all, the, the monopoly sells the products, that is books, made by the oligopoly. So, no, they're made by authors, so, Scott. But the, but the problem...